hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to install and set up Odoo 18 community edition with PyCharm for Odoo development so we all know that Odoo 18 has been released couple of days before officially in the Odoo github and as of now you can see in the screen the 18.0 the branch is available so what we are going to do in this video is we will set up Odoo 18 community edition with PyCharm and run Odoo locally. So first of all, as a pre-request what you need is you have to download the PyCharm community edition from the official website. So the PyCharm community edition is a free version. So you can just go to the website and download and install it. So we need PyCharm community edition and you have to install PostgreSQL version 12 or above for running Odoo 18. So in my system, it's already installed the PyCharm I have already installed and I have Postgres version 12 is already installed. Now we will start with downloading the Odoo 18 source code. So if I go to the PyCharm and let me close all this file and if you see here I have different Odoo versions installed in my system from Odoo 8 to Odoo 17. So similarly we will add a new directory inside the PyCharm. So this is PyCharm interface and inside this folder i'll create a new directory called 18.0 and here you can see i have added a new directory so if you are new like you will be getting a different screen when you open pycharm but you can just click on next 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 and you will be reaching at this point or if you face any issue just put a comment in the under video and we will be helping you as much as we can possible so we have added a new directory called 18.0 now what i have to do i have to source i have to clone odoo 18 source code so i'll just click on join files and here i have the created directory 18.0 so by right clicking i'll open a terminal and i'll run the command to clone this 18.0 so if you are familiar with git commands you can clone or if you find difficulty with git command you can just manually download the zip file from here and extract and place the source code inside this folder so here i'll be using the clone method so i'll copy the url and using git git clone i'll specify the url and i need to clone the branch 18.0 depth 1 i don't need the full history of the repository that's why i'm using using depth one so there is one mistake cloning into Odoo so if you see here a new directory is created and the cloning will be happening so cloning into Odoo git clone branch 18.0 depth one yeah you can see it's coming so the Odoo source code is around uh, 140 to 150 mp so let's wait until it get completed so this is the command we have used git clone the url to Odoo official repository branch we have specified 18.0 depth 1 to reduce the size of the entire folder so if i didn't specify depth minus depth 1 the size will be too much and it will take a long time to complete so here we just need depth one so let's wait until it get completed so here we have 18.0 and we are cloning the uru 18 source code and this is official repository so i'll add this link inside the video description so that you can go to the repository from there and start the proceedings so let's wait until it get completed that is we have to reach 100 percentage So you can see we have reached around uh, yeah fully downloaded you can see the total size is 143 mp and all the files are downloaded now if i go to this folder you can see inside 18 a new folder odoo code created and i have all the odoo source code here now if you jump back to pycharm and here you can see the new folder get added that is odoo now what we have to do we got odoo source code now we have to create a new directory i'll name it as configuration or conf that is 
this folder we will not touch because on daily basis there will be updates and bug fixing bug fixing coming on Odoo 18 so we have to pull the Odoo source code regularly so by right clicking you can just git pull the repository like you don't need to touch anything inside this directory so i have to add my configuration file for that i created a directory called conf and inside that i'll place my Udo configuration file so to get a sample if you go to Udo debian folder there is a file called odoo.conf you can copy that and paste it inside the conf file so i have just pasted it like this so i have to set admin password which is like the password to manage database operation so i'll give the my admin password as admin123 so whenever like depending on your security you can use a stronger password so as it is my local db i'm setting a simpler password then db host initially i told we need postgres as a database so my postgres is running on the same instance or same machine so i'm using db host as local host and i have multiple postgres in my machine that is i have postgres sql 10 and postgres version 12 so my postgres version 12 is running on port 8434 so if you don't know in which port your postgres is running you can just keep it as 5432 but in my case it's 5434 now we need a database user for Udo. so to run or to specify or to do the database operation like creating new db and updating all that we need a postgres user for Udo. so let's create that too so in order to create postgres user i'll do this command so i have to log into postgres sql that is i have to log in this like in my case i have to use this command so i'll log into postgres and i'll enter my password so in your case you can just type sudo su postgres then it will take you to the postgres then what i have to do i have written a note here i have logged into postgres then i have to create a user let's create user odu 18 with password odu so this is executed so the role is created now i have to give him the super user permission alter user odu 18 with super user so that role is created so we have created a user with name odu18 and password is odu so we have to specify those credentials here so what is your username odu18 and db password is odu now coming into add-ons path so i'll remove the value default value so my add-ons path is like odu18 odu here i have my add-ons so right click copy path paste here comma and inside odu directory there is another add-ons folder copy its path specify here and i don't need this last line so simply i have added my configuration file so we have cloned odu source code odu 18 source code created a configuration file now it's time to run odu 18 so to run odu 18 i have to add a configuration in pycharm so here i have already a configuration i'll delete that one and i'll create from scratch so before creating that one i have to copy the configuration file path so i'll copy its path path to my configuration file then i'll go to edit configuration similar to odoo 8 14 15 and 17 i'll create a new configuration so i can click on this plus button python i'll name it as odoo 18 and it's asking for the script path so in script path you have to specify path to odoo bin so 18 odoo then there is a file called odoo bin so you can select that then inside parameters minus c path to configuration file so you have to copy the absolute path so if i click on edit configuration odoo 18 i'll put absolute path to my configuration file then python interpreter i have 3.10 already installed so you can ensure that you have a python 3.10 or above like python 3.12 is fine so i'll be using python 3.10 and click on apply ok so we have done with adding a pycharm configuration now if you click on the run button you will see the odoo is running on 8069 because i haven't specified any port inside my configuration file so it's running on 8069 but i need a different port http port 80 
eight eight let's say because i have odo my odo 16 is running on this port so i'm using a different port for odo 18. now if i restart you can see odo is running on port 8088 now if you go to browser and let me local host instead of odo 17 i'll use 8088 and let's see what we are getting so here you can see we have got a database manager page of Udo. So that is we have successfully installed Udo 18 and we are getting this page. So it's time to create our first database in Udo 18 and it's asking like for master password. So your master password is this one admin123. So I'll enter it admin123. Then database name is let's say Udo 18 test or anything and you can give an email i'll give automates at gmail.com or anything i'll simply give admin as email password admin phone number you can leave empty country i'll choose india or anyone you can choose and if you need demo data you can tick this one and hit on create database so this will create your first database in Udo 18 so we will confirm everything is up and running by logging into our first database of Udo 18 so at the same time if you check the pycharm log you will see different things like creating database you can see different modules are getting installed so this is the advantage of pycharm like linking pycharm with odoo you can monitor what's happening here so we have successfully created uh, the first database now time to log in to the db i'll enter my credential hit on login you will be logged into your database so you can see we have successfully logged into the database uh, now what we have to do we are in the apps page and let's install our first application let's say we will install the invoicing module of Udo. so if you jump back to pycharm you can see it's getting installed hopefully it will be installing without any issues of like packages anything so let's wait product module is installing sms all the dependency of invoicing module has to be installed so you can see accounting module is started spreadsheet app is getting installed payment module internal localization is getting installed at the moment and you can see here it's loading so we have to wait until the installation is getting completed and you can see the invoicing module has been successfully installed in the database without any issues now if you come back to home screen you can see invoicing app is added now if you directly go to settings page and if you scroll down you will see version is odoo 18 community edition so we have successfully installed the odoo community edition odoo 18 community edition with pycharm so what we have done so far is simply we have downloaded the Python Community Edition, installed PostgreSQL 12. We have Python 3.10 or above. Either you can use Python 3.10 or Python 3.12. Then we have cloned Odoo 18 source code from GitHub, added configuration file, created a Postgres user, added a Python configuration here, and run on a port 8088 and we have got a successful odoo 18 instance so this is all about how to set up odoo 18 community edition in ubuntu so if you have any queries don't hesitate to ask you can directly add a comment under the video and if you are interested to join our whatsapp group you can reach us in the email that is odoomates at gmail.com and if you like the video please do click the like button and share the video with your odoo friends so that's it have a nice day thank you